How do you speed run bad business? Is probably the question you have going through your head right now. And I understand why. Bad business is a fast paced first person shooter game where you can compete against other players and showcase your skills. So how the heck can you speed run a game like that? Well, today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you guys how I became the fastest bad business speedrunner. Now, I was playing bad business kind of just normal. You know, it was a regular day. I was going to record a video and then I got to thinking, man, I'm really bored of this game. So I did what any other normal YouTuber does. I try to go recycle content. Well, if you don't but I didn't want to do that. I was getting really bored with the same old, same old best setup, new gun this, sniper that. It was boring. So I went on YouTube and, you know, I just opened up my recommendations. And the video that I saw was by someone named AVGBB. It popped up into my recommended and it was just a bad business ready player to speedrun. Their official time was 1246. And that really had me thinking like, man, 12 minutes and 46 seconds isn't really that fast. So I watched this entire video. I wanted to see what route they took, what they did, and exactly how they achieved this time. And I saw some flaws in the speedrun. First of all, they did the speedrun in a public server. Now we have access to free private ones. So I got to thinking, I was like, hmm, how could I make this run faster? And potentially not only beating the record, but hopefully setting a record actually kind of hard to get. So this is what I came up with. So watching this run, as you can see, as soon as soon as he spawns in, he takes out his knife and he starts running towards the first position of where the thing spawns, which is right on this wall, as you can see. Now, the most important thing about this run here is not only does he get all four of the pieces in under a minute, but he also pops it in in a minute, I'm pretty sure, or under a minute, as you can see. And he kind of hesitates right there, loses him a bit of time, just a little bit of time. Then it fully uploads, and then he gets in at, I think, around a minute and six seconds, I want to say, right? Just around, okay, minute seven. I, I was close. All right, I was close. But yeah, he gets in in around a minute, all right? And that is kind of my aim. I want to get in in around a minute or maybe a little bit faster. Because watching this playthrough, all right, watching this speed run, uh, I can see that there was a couple mistakes, you know, like he missed a couple shots here and there and whatnot, and that's kind of what costed him a lot of time in this game. So I knew to beat this record, no, demolish this record, I would need to hit a lot of my shots and as well as that, get all the unicorn pieces in a reasonable amount of time as well. And there could be no mistakes because if there was any mistakes, I would not be able to get it. I needed to make a setup that would make me really fast, but not only that, memorize every single spot of all the unicorn locations and have decent aim. So this is the setup I decided to go with. Civi 10 round mag, folded stock, and lightweight on the UMP to max out on mobility 110, which is also the cap in game. But I went ahead and spawned into the game in my first attempt. This is what happened. Three, two, one, above. We're sitting here. Here. Perfect. Okay. Dang, I just lost a little bit of time off there. It's okay. It's okay. Not that big of a deal. I can get a I can get a way better time. Okay, I'm not doing too shabby, I think. Got a lot of zombies right here, holy. Three left. Now you run. Oh my god. Time. 10:32, bro. I beat the world record. Oh my god. Let's go. Let's go. I think I could get faster though. I think I can honestly get faster. I beat it by two minutes. I could definitely get faster. 10:32. Bro, that's sick. Let's go. I'm so hyped about that. Let's go. So yeah, I beat the record in one of my first attempts ever, but I wasn't gonna stop there. So after I saw that, I started thinking to myself, hmm, you know, this actually 
could be possible to get a sub 10 on. 30 seconds is a lot to shave off. I won't lie to you. It is a lot to shave off. But if I were to clean up maybe my pregame where I start collecting all the unicorn pieces and I get lucky spawns, maybe, just maybe, I get a good run. But like I said earlier in the video, I didn't just want to beat the speed run. I wanted to demolish it. So I went for a sub 10 run, which in case any of you don't know what that is, is I'm trying to get literally 10 minutes or under, that's it. So I started putting in the time, the hours, the amount of time I put into this video is just, it, it was a lot. But in this one run, this one lucky run, this is what happened. Three, two, one, go. That one going nice. 360. Only I with 360 in a uh, speed run like that because I am not scared. I've got this down packed, bro. I already know what I need to make. I already know what I need to grab. I already know everything. All right, cool. Give me the behind. Give me the behind. Give me the behind. That's all I need. Give me the behind. Give me the behind. <gasps> oh my god. 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 Just don't mess this up. That's quick. That's actually so fast. Oh my god. Okay. This could be the run. I gotta just not box this. I'm in a minute. I'm in a minute. We gotta do this now. We gotta do this now, bro. Oh my god. My heart is racing. Okay. Oh my god, this is actually freaking huge, man. Bruh, what is that? Why is he all the way down there? Oh my god, bro. I honestly think that might have costed me some time right there. Oh my god, it was almost 10 minutes flat. It was three seconds off. No. So, yeah, a freaking zombie just costed me a sub 10 run by three seconds, guys. Three, all right? I, 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 I'm losing my mind. I could have had a sub-10 run if it wasn't for that stupid, stupid zombie all the way out in Narnia, bro. I don't know why that zombie was all the way out there. It was just unlucky. But seeing that run that I just did, I knew a sub-10 run is possible. So I'm making this video not only to show you that I am now the fastest bad business speedrunner, at least in terms of Ready Player 2, but I'm also making this video as a challenge. A challenge to all of you. This video is up on the 17th of February. I'm giving you all exactly one month. All right, you guys have one month. You think you can beat my run? You think you can get faster than 10 minutes? Go right ahead, man. And to the person that does beat my run and gets the fastest time possible, I'll give you a little prize. Why not? And I will make a video reacting to the run, most likely. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a very, very different video than what I'm used to posting. Like I said, I don't really post videos like these all too often, so I hope it was enjoyable all the way through. But I appreciate you all so much for coming out and watching this video. I also gotta say, I will be live on Twitch this Sunday. This Sunday, I'm gonna be opening up, let me see if I can get it right, that one right there that pokemon card pack and it's gonna be it's gonna be a blast all right i hope you all enjoyed and i will talk to all you beautiful beautiful people on the next one later peace